Um, now you've added some artists that we just didn't expect to see on the series, right? You have Method Man, Mary J. Blige, Light Skin Keisha. Um, are there any surprising artists who almost landed a role, but they didn't just quite make the cut that you can share with us? You'd be surprised on how many how many like artists would, would want to jump into the film side of it, like from the music portion of it, would want to want to do something, and it's because I think that it, it's not heavy criteria for you to be a part of the music business like it used to be. Like when when I came in, you had to work to to earn a big enough buzz for the A and R departments or someone from the music business to sign you to the major record companies. And then the opportunity to be successful was there because you could work and actually make something out of it. The, the, now, creatively, if the guy has a same setup we're looking at right now, they got a computer, they got a microphone, they can record something and send it to iTunes, it starts streaming, they start developing YouTube followings and different things. And before you know it, the record company shows up and they want to, uh, partner with them on something, do something that puts them in the music business. If, if anybody who recorded last night, this morning, who, who put the song on iTunes is technically in the music business. So whether it's good or not is the difference in how we separate those artists, but they're still artists. And then the, the longer you work at it, that's the high probability you become successful at it over time because it's just more, the more passion you put into it, the, the better it'll start to become, I believe, in music. Right. You know, because I, I was down since 97. I didn't have anything break until 2003, like we get ready to die trying, but that's just the way you got to put the work in for it to work for you. Mm -hmm. you know? Can you and, give us at least one name of an artist that tried to be on the show but didn't make the cut? Well, Hardest Fontaine, Hardy. Okay, yeah. He, he's with, with Megan right now. The uh, Who else? Um, and he's a, a, a dope writer. Like he's one of the talented writers out there. The, um, Quavo. Mm -hmm. He read for a character. He read for uh, in BMF. He read for one of the roles in BMF. Um, Casanova. Okay. He read for the Omar character in BMF. Um, a bunch of it's so many uh, like it's so many guys like it's a lot of them put themselves on tape for the character. So they just they they got got the sides and they read it so they was comfortable and performed it to tape. Right. onto the tape and they sent it in. So they, they had those, those different pieces. And we, we went through and, and tried to sort out the right combination to putting all of the actors and everybody together. And then it just came out good. But we got Cash Doll and then we got Cash Doll and BMF. We got, um, who else uh, musically? Um, I don't even think they announced it. I probably shouldn't say that until they announced it. But we got, we got some things happening that you'll be surprised when you get a chance to hear. Okay, thank you so much and congratulations on this win. I can't wait to see what's coming next.